imagine there's no heaven. It seems music itself had started where um, I was in, it was a long spine surgery case and after the case, um, I, I was finishing up and I just started singing in the operating room and we're just finishing up with, with everything and uh, turning over the room as they call it. And um, some of my other coworkers started singing with me and uh, it was at that moment that I kind of realized like how special music, music is to me uh, because of just how I felt in the moment and how um, it sort of brightened up the room. And recently, um, uh, you know, with what's going on with the global pandemic and everyone sort of having their lives sort of derailed um, it's been an opportunity uh, for us to step back and say, what can we share what that would sort of um, be something that could bring people together. And music was one of those, the things that we could do outside of the hospital, outside of the operating room. And um, that's kind of how the idea got started. I think it reinforces the idea that there's no way that we get through this unless we get through it together. And the project itself, to put the project together, like in a day and then be able to share it. I think it's, for us, it's very important to find a way to give um, with this, and I think um, if it's a little bit that we can do on our part, I'm happy, happy to do it. When you're feeling low and there's no one around, all proceeds are going to be donated um, to healthcare workers on the front lines and um, charities focusing on nonprofit uh, foundations for uh, healthcare workers giving PPE. And so it's a, a, um, a group of charities that focus on those things. and that's where all the proceeds are going to go. So even if people hate the music, um, they should just know that it's going to a good cause every time you play it.